Good morning, everybody. August 24th, 2018, 7, 13 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, good morning for some of us, that is. Uh, we have had a yet another uh, very significant, very, very deep 7.1 to 7.5 earthquake. Uh, we are about 82 miles west-northwest of Liberia, Peru. You can see it right here. I actually pulled it up on Google Earth. In fact, let's copy coordinates and go right to exactly where it is. Alrighty. We're right at the border of Brazil. Um, and Bolivia is where this thing struck. So, sorry about that. Let's take a look at exactly where this thing hit. Um, from what it looks like to me, it's um, in the middle of a forest. There are a little bit of populated areas around this air, uh, around the earthquake itself. But again, very deep and close enough to the coast of South America to where this would be considered the Ring of Fire. So yet another very, very deep earthquake. If you guys remember way over here in Fiji, we had that 8.3 to 8.5. That was 350 miles deep. This one is 378 miles deep, guys. So even deeper earthquake here in South America. Again, like I said, between the border of Brazil and Bolivia... Um, I do have some couple stats pulled up for you here. Basically, nothing we haven't already talked about, but you can see here it's considered Liberia, Peru, 7.1. Uh, the reason I'm saying 7.1 to 7.5 is because it was actually downgraded when I first saw it, and you can see here 78, uh, 378 miles deep. So uh, that is just another big earthquake to add to the list of. Uh, the crazy amount of earthquakes we've had going on around the Pacific Ring of Fire here uh, that goes all along the Pacific Ring, all down in this area. Obviously, I'm a little off-orient here. Let's get back to north. There we go. So uh, everything circling this area is considered the Ring of Fire, lots of volcanoes, and we've had lots of volcanic or earthquake activity. Sorry, guys, this is a little early for me. But anyway, there you have it. Another deep, very, very strong earthquake, 7.1 to 7.5, 378 miles deep in Peru, border of Brazil and Bolivia. Now, really quick, I found an article. There will be many, many more. Uh, this is a shake map. You can get this through uh, earthquake.usgs.gov. This gives you stats on the shake map of where, uh, which areas were affected, how many people felt it. Uh, no one has yet come onto this website to report they have felt it. That does not mean they did not feel it. It just means they did not take the time to come on here to let us know. So uh, you can see the 609.5 kilometer depth, 7.1 magnitude is the official. Uh, did not come with a tsunami warning, which is a good thing. But yet these deep earthquakes are getting very scary, guys, especially these very strong Anything 6.5 and above, when you get into those 300-mile depths, uh, that is cause for concern because that a lot of times means that there's going to be a lot of shallow, uh, stronger movement, or it's going to break up into a lot of little earthquakes, but much more shallow in that area. So we got to keep an eye on this throughout the day. Uh, the one article I was able to find right now, Peru earthquake, huge 7.1 magnitude. Quake hits the border of Brazil and Bolivia. Peru has been rocked by major 7.1 magnitude earthquake close to the border of Brazil and Bolivia, uh, says the USGS. So, um, anything new in this local? Okay, so 4.04 a.m. local time. Uh, that was about two hours ago, give or take. Um, California earthquake map, where did the quake hit along the ring of fire? Okay, that might be a different article. Um... We are also 248 kilometers northwest of Porto Melodondo. Uh, that's a city in East Peru. And that's it for this update, guys. I'm going to be doing more on Hurricane Lane, obviously. Um, I'm up early, so we'll see what happens with that. We're, I'm going to look into it right now. But um, as we check the shake charts, the buoy data center, nothing has been set off. Um, and this is about right in this area. So if anything, some of these buoys may have been set off, but it's not showing anything here on this site. All right, guys, that's it with your update. Um, hopefully everyone over there in Peru is okay. Any uh, significant updates coming up with that, I will bring to you um, as soon as possible. And there is Hurricane Lane. 
um, about to make its business known in the islands of Hawaii. So that's what we'll be t uh, talking about next, guys. All right, take care. Have a great morning. Goodbye.